Hello, and welcome to another edition of Energy. Coming up on today's show, we'll give you a sneak peek at O'Fallon Theatre Works' next production. Recreation coordinator Danielle Rex will be here to share some exciting news for kids, and if you are in the market for a summer job, stay tuned. We'll have all this and more coming up on Energy. The city of O'Fallon is getting ready for their newest park to open. O'Day Park is quickly coming together and will soon be open to the public. This 55-acre park, located off of Highway DD in O'Fallon, will combine the best of the beautiful natural terrain with fantastic family-friendly amenities. The park is a nature park, which is one of the first in our area. Um, it's not going to have a traditional playground or any traditional park elements. Um, it will feature an adventure playground, which will focus on um, kids getting into nature, getting kind of dirty. There will be a water feature where they can play in water and get their hands in the mud. There will be climbing ropes and uh, like a bridge they can climb over and down and through. Um, the playground will also have a pavilion that you can rent, and nearby there will be a family pavilion. The park will feature a restored uh, prairie area. We're trying to bring back the prairie grasslands that were once in the area. There will be walking trails, walk and bike trails around the perimeter of the park, a primitive camping area. I believe there will be two or three campsites that will be available for rent with a fire pit and nearby access to bathrooms. Another great feature is a 4,000 square foot lodge named after the park with an indoor-outdoor fireplace that can accommodate up to 300 people for events. You can uh, rent it for a wedding reception, family reunion, corporate gathering, meeting, class reunion, prom. It'll have a variety of different uses. Those who rent O'Day Lodge uh, will have to utilize one of our preferred caterers for all their food and beverage needs. Our preferred caterers are Sugar Fire Smokehouse, the Pasta House Company, Conchetta's, the Christie, and Stumpy's slash River City Catering. O'Day Park also features an amphitheater for concerts and events. Some events that we're planning to host this summer out at O'Day Park are a concert under the stars, theater under the stars, a big teen event where we can get our uh, young people out and um, using the park. We can also rent the amphitheater for weddings or other types of events where you may want to have an audience. There's natural seating there. If you rent the amphitheater, we can, um, you can also add chairs to your rental. You can add 100 chairs for $100 or 200 chairs for $200. And the city, uh, city staff will set those up for you and uh, take them down. We're taking reservations for the amphitheater and O'Day Lodge uh, up to two years in advance for events taking place after May 4th of 2019. If you're interested in making a reservation, give Emily a call at 636-379-5606 or email her at emilyg at o'fallon.mo.us. O'Fallon Theatre Works is working on their next production featuring the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. The 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee is a tale of several socially awkward youngsters finding joy, heartache, and a purpose in competing at the Regional Spelling Bee. Winner of the Tony and the Drama Desk Awards for Best Book, this musical has charmed audiences across the country with its natural wit and humor. Now that excitement is coming to O'Fallon Theatre Works. We are super excited to bring the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee to OTW. It's, uh, we haven't had a musical in a while, so we are bringing this one. It is a comedy, it is very fun and hilarious, and I think one of the things that makes it stand out is it's nostalgic, it's 
It's very touching and sweet, and it also has an element of being different every night because we uh, invite four different people to come on as volunteer spellers and be part of the show. So you never know what to expect each time. I love this cast. Uh, the talent is just astronomical. It's so good. And what I liked about this year is we do have some familiar faces that you've seen in the past, but about half our cast are people brand new to O'Fallon Theatre Works. It's a great way to grow and to meet new talent, and I really think our show is going to stand out for that. Syzygy. We have a winner! This is my first time with O'Fallon Theatre Works. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here and I'm super honored to be working with this uh, amazing team. We're excited to have her too. It's not my first time with O'Fallon Theatre Works. Um, this is my third show with O'Fallon Theatre Works. I'm Vice Principal Douglas Panch, who is got a few social issues, but has a good heart. And um, my partner in crime up on stage is uh, Rona, and the two of us MC and announce the spelling bee. She's a former sit champion herself at the spelling bee. Third annual. <laughs> Syzygy. Syzygy. I play Chip Tolentino. Um, he's pretty much the alpha male, and some unfortunate circumstances uh, causes downfall that are, you know, not really... Or upfall. Or upfall, you could Stop. say, really. <laughs> Such a calamity. cast. Um, it was casted super, very well. Yeah, and we're all super supportive of each other so far, even though we haven't like known each other for very long in some of our cases. Um, so it's been really neat just coming into a new group and being super um, accepted right, right off the bat. So that's really cool. Oh, Yeah, this is one of my favorite shows. Like, my whole family has like been in this show, so this is like my first time being in this show. So yeah. they're all excited, just as well as I am. Is your mom here, maybe, or your dad? My dad had to go to work. He's gonna try to come later. Well, who who brought you here, dear? The bus. I really hope that people will come out to see the show. I think it's a good show, even if you think you don't like musicals or you're not a theater person. This is a great show to be introduced to theater, to have fun, and to really see how wonderful it is. I've never been in any gymnasium before. <laughs> the show is the first two weekends in March, March 1st to the 3rd and 8th through the 10th. Friday and Saturday is at 8 o'clock, and Sundays are at 2. For more information about our show, please follow the O'Fallon Theatre Works page on Facebook, as well as check out the Parks and Recreation Department website for information on buying tickets. If you want to have a great evening or a great afternoon if you're coming on a Sunday, um, come and see O'Fallon Theatre Works. It's such a hidden gem. Great entertainment, evening of music and fun. Bring all your friends. O'Fallon's Recreation Department has created additional summer camps for kids. Here's Danielle Rex with more. This year, we are excited to announce that we will be offering three camps. Camp Jack at the Renaud Center will still be available. We will be adding Gator Camp to the new Creckle Civic Center, which is located in Civic Park. These two camps, Camp Jack and Camp Gator, will offer swimming twice a week, crafts, kitchen, and fun activities. Adventure Camp, as we have been calling it Camp Venture, will be a brand new camp located at O'Day Park. This camp will be geared towards the themes of the week, keeping the kids active and outside. We are really excited about the trails and adventure playground that will be at this location. We also have some exciting news. Registration will be online this year. Registration starts for residents of O'Fallon and members of the Renaud Center on March 9th at 7 a.m. We will open registration for non-residents on March 25th at 8 a.m. For patrons who would prefer to register in person, we will still have the paperwork available on our website to print and bring in. Check out our website for more information that will be posted on February 15th, and we look forward to seeing you at registration. 
the City of O'Fallon's Parks and Recreation Department is holding their annual job fair for part-time and seasonal positions. Great opportunities await you this summer if you're in the market to earn extra money. O'Fallon's Parks and Recreation Department is hiring for a number of part-time jobs and seasonal positions. The department is looking for responsible, energetic, positive people with good social skills to come ready to be interviewed at the Parks and Recreation Job Fair. We're currently hiring for lifeguards, swim lesson instructors, concession workers, camp counselors, and um, part-time parks maintenance workers. Lifeguards, we start hiring at 15 years old. Camp counselors and concessions workers can all start at 16. Um, and then the parks workers start at 18 years old. For many of our positions, there's no experience required. All of our training is done in-house. Um, so it's a fun first job for many people. We ask that um, any candidates fill out an application online um, at ofallon.mo.us. We ask that they arrive um, ready to interview. Many of the positions will have hiring managers here ready to interview you. Um, so just make sure you have the application filled out ahead of time. Um, if for some reason you don't have your application filled out ahead of time, you can do it here. We'll have a couple of computers set up that you can fill them out while you're waiting. The part-time job fair will be on March 12th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. here at the Renan Center. Don't miss out on this opportunity for a summer job. Visit the city's website for all the details. The site offers facts and tips about applying for a position and lists job qualifications and duties. Now it's time for this week's community calendar. Join us for a wee party as we celebrate the luck of the Irish with exciting St. Patrick's Day themed games and crafts. Maybe you will be the lucky one to find the pot of gold. Enjoy a leprechaun snack and don't forget to wear your green. This fun event takes place on Friday, March 15th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Renaud Center. Cost is $10 for residents and $12 for non-residents. Join us for this unique hard hat tour of the former Missouri State Penitentiary in Jefferson City, Missouri. Built in 1836 and shuttered in 2004, the Big House was hailed in 1893 as one of America's most efficient prisons for feeding inmates on 11 cents a day and condemned in 1967 as the bloodiest 47 acres in America. The tour includes prison history, famous inmates and their cells, and even a glimpse of the gas chambers. Next, we'll sit down to lunch at a local restaurant followed by ice cream at Central Dairy. After lunch and ice cream, we'll tour Missouri State Capitol. The trip's cost includes transportation, the prison tour, an escort, lunch, and gratuities. It all takes place on Thursday, April 25th from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. How is your metabolism determined? What can be done to speed it up or slow it down? Learn how to stay young and healthy at this free health lecture taking place at the Renaud Center on Wednesday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. on March 13th. This lecture is free and open to the public. The Renaud Center is located at 2650 Tri Sports Circle in O'Fallon. Now in its 17th year, the Photo Club features field trips, guest speakers, and hands-on demonstrations. Newcomers of all levels are welcome. The club meets in the lower level of the O'Fallon Senior Center on the second Wednesday of the month. To find out more about the club, search for O'Fallon Photo Club on Facebook. The club's page offers tips, challenges, and of course, original photos. Register by calling the Renaud Center at 636-474-2732 or register online at renaudcenter.com. That's all for today's show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Energy.